Hey, me again. Um, I just finished showing how to create a, a unified slab piece, um, just regular on the countertop, and now I want to show how to do it on a form. So I joined these two pieces of slab, and now I'm going to um, put it on this uh, cone shape that I got at Michael's, and uh, it's covered with a, some tights. It just makes it easier for release. Um, once the clay sets up. So at first what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this on here and when I do that it's like instant pattern. I don't need to have a piece of paper for the pattern. All I need to do is follow the line and I can see where the form rolled. So that's all I'm going to do right here. And then get these out of the way. Next, I'm going to roll the cone. All right, so I make sure it's tight. And I'm going to see where it ends here. I can see right here, there's a line made where, the, where it indented. So I'm going to cut it about, I don't know, half inch to an inch above that. Move that out of the way. Next, I'm going to, before I stand it up, I'm just going to take off the excess clay around the bottom. And then I'm going to stand it up. Now I once again find the edge and I press in. And now I'm going to push back into it. important to press back into it to fill the gap. All right, now I'm going to take off the excess clay. I'm going to figure out these bit lines later on. I just want to get the main form going. So I'm going to use the big end first. crossing all right I'm going down to the smaller level the smallest level. Alright, and this time uh, for smoothing it out, I'm not going to use a big rib. I'm going to just use my little stiff rib here. I'm just going to go around the entire form just to make it uniform. Make sure that the stuff that got kind of pushed out is pushed back in.
All right, so now I have a nice surface on which to decorate. And the only thing I might want to do now before I let it set up a little bit is to trim the top and the bottom so that they're mostly even. Okay, so to um, trim the bottom, what I did is I have this little bowl and I'm going to place it on the bottom because I have this coming out so it's not going to be even if I do any trimming. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to get my banding wheel. center it on that. Alright, it's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is take my needle tool and I'm going to do the same for the top. Now I have a fairly even surface on which to work, and I can go do texturing or whatever I want to do with it. When it sets up, we'll look at the seam on the inside and address that. Okay, we're back. Um, this is the cone I made before, and it was hard for me to just leave it plain, so I went ahead and I textured it. And so now what I'm going to show you is, uh, now that the outside, this is like a soft leather hard, um, I'm going to take it off the cone. It's great when you have the um, tights around the styrofoam cone, it just comes right off. Um, so now, if you can look inside, um, see now I'm having a hard time finding where the, seat, the, the seam was. I think, here's the inside. <laughs> and... Uh, I think this is it right here. So I can see a couple of indentations where the seam was. That just means I really pounded hard when I um, closed it. So that's good. So what I'm going to do now to um, to make sure that that seam stays closed. I mean, right now I think it could fire and it would be fine. I'm going to take a little glob of wet clay and I'm going to put it along the seam, if I can find it again. Here. <laughs> wow. So I'm just taking little bits of clay and I'm just shoving it in the seam. That's all I'm doing. All right, when it gets to be too hard for my fingers to get all the way down, I'm just going to flip it over. And find the seam this way. All right, the next thing is to take your rib and just to smooth it out. I'm using my fingers because it's kind of hard to get that ribbon up here. Oh, 
All right, and now we have it. We're done. Thanks for watching.